everyone, this is Linda and welcome to my channel. I have today guys a, another Timu haul. It is a crafty haul and there's some other little items in there that are not quite crafty and I thought you guys would like to see. Um, I'm going to get started. So I saw these inks and they are um, acid free and they are oxide inks. So um, I only got two. I got this color and I got this color. This is called Peach Blossom Spring. This is called Blushing and um, Brofridge. Brofridge. Brofinch. Anyway, here is the color of that one. I haven't tried these yet. And here's the color of that one, but they are pretty. So there's those. Okay. So I got some more paper items. I'm going to move this out of the way so um, you guys can see. So these are called Cloud Dream. And they were really pretty in the book. And I thought these would be really cute in a journal. And I'm just going to thumb through them. Now they are on a kind of a thinner paper, but they're gorgeous. They are so gorgeous. And they, they have like a sheen to them, and like, I don't know how to explain it. You see right here? I don't know if it's picking it up. They are very sheeny, and they look, oh, mm, I just love these. So here is the, um, the rest. It has just started raining here, and it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I am filming this, and it is so dark almost outside. It's crazy. But anyway, I wanted to show you these here. Let's keep moving along. It's, I don't want this to be a long video. I've got a feeling it's going to be. Um, so there they are. Really, really cute papers. Haven't seen these before, so I always try to get things, you know, never buy the duplicates. Try to get you guys, um, to show you guys the different things that are out there. This is not sponsored. Um, I bought this with my own money. Okay. Um, and the same with this one. This is really, really cute. I love the scenes on these. And I hope the electric doesn't go out, folks, because I'm going to be upset. I'll be in the dark. Okay. And here's these. These, And it looks like you get three of each on these. But oh my gosh. They're gorgeous. I just love the fantasy look and the forest. These are really so cute. There's that one. One, two, three. Yeah, three. Okay, so there they are. All right, so let me pick something different. All right, I did get, I did get this container. I wanted to show you guys. This is um, a little wallet but actually it's not really a wallet i'm going to close it here so you guys can see it it does zip on all four sides okay like that i got this to travel with to put my phone cord in and any other little cords that i have so i think that's going to work quite well and it's you know it's got that nice hard sides to it so there's that Okay, um, if you want a link to any of these, um, just message me, do a, uh, ask a question, uh, and then I'll give you the link, um, because I don't really have the links, uh, I would have to go search out and, um, show you those, and put them all in, and that's so time consuming, but, um, here's another little bag I got for travel, for just most any little thing you want to put in it. This one's is a soft-sided bag, so and it's got a little pocket in there. It's cute. Okay. All right. Moving on. Um, let's see. I did get a lot of papers this time. So here's a set of. These are fifty, and these are like a postcard um, kind of paper. And what they are, they're landscapes. Um, of just uh, just pretty places 
and they're gorgeous also. Okay, let me see what they look on the back. The back are plain, but they're retro looking and also futuristic looking. But then some of them are like, you can just, you know, you can see here. But they're beautiful. And they're, look, there's France. Mm -hmm. So I just think these are lovely. I got these to um, use as, just to paint by and to um, get some ideas for landscapes and urban scenes. I just, I love this one. Mm. They're so, so nice. That reminds me of Santorini. Never been, but want to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so lovely. I just love these. Okay. Very nice. All right. Put this aside. Go to the next. Um, here is another little um, scrapping journaling paper booklet. And I'll figure out this is the front. All right. So here's this, and this is so, so pretty. And they have several different one of these, and I'm slowly collecting all of them. And this is the second one I bought, I think. The other one's more rosy, but these are beautiful. I just love these. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Very nice, I love that. Okay, moving on, what else do we got? Oh, I have to show you this. Um, they have hair clips. And I've been getting hair clips that are metal. I'm sorry for the crinkly. But I wanted to show you this one. This is a really pretty. It's a bow, and it's got, like, the ribbon dangling. And, you know, you just clip that in the back of your hair. And it's so pretty. It's got a couple little pearls. And this is a silver one. Very pretty. Okay, next I got I got these brushes. Now I'm just, I think I'm just gonna leave them in the bag. They are just very fine, fine line, and I believe these were for um, doing your nails. But they're so nice. See how fine they are? They would make very fine detail brushes. Very nice. And they got nice black handles. Okay. All right. And next is. Oh. My light was dimming. I got this set of. Oh, don't go out. Electric, please don't go out. I got these little sets of rings. Okay. And it looks like a wedding band set. They're really gorgeous. This is a gold. Okay, really pretty. You get this one with little stone and then like a band. And this one has tiny little rhinestones in it. Really, really pretty. See, I'll put it on. Let me see. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to leave that on. And then I got another mood ring. Remember the mood rings of the 70s? Well... They had a different one and this is what it looks like okay and let me see I think I got it for this finger here my light keeps blinking um, but that's what it looks like and then it's it'll change colors as your body temperature it's the ring all right so there's that one and it's starting to change already Okay, all right, now move on to more papers. I'll show you the ring here if it gets, oh, there it is. It's getting a teal color now. Oh, love it. All right, so this is another set of papers. Okay, and these are, I believe what they call these a washi tape paper, but look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, I think they're gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Every time I go search, there's always something new. Always. And these have got, like, all of these little punched out. I don't know if you guys can see. Look. They're all scalloped. And they're 
been punched out. Really cute. Okay, so there's that set. All the little pieces fell out. All right, moving on. Um, so I did get another mood ring. Um, and this is actually a gift. I'll just show you. This is like the first one I showed oh, about a month or so ago. But I got one as a gift for a friend. And I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. She really liked mine, and I went ahead and ordered her one. Okay, let's see what color that is. Oh, it's purple now. Oh, so pretty. Okay. And these are, like, really, really cheap. I know this was only, like, um, 99 cents, and they're made so nice. They are, um, like, a heavy... They're not heavy, but they're a uh, good weighted metal, and um, none of them has has turned or anything. So I'm I'm really pleased with what I've gotten so far. All right, let's move on to the next. Here is some more. I believe um, I might have something similar to this. This is like a winter scene. Okay, and. They just come out of there. And also these are like the, um, they're really shiny in spots. And then they're just like a regular matte paper. But this is what those look like. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not in focus. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, my gosh. I love it. Love, love, love. And there's the last ones. Oh, they're gorgeous. I'm so happy with these papers. I love. Okay. Here's another set. I think I might have bought all of these. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see what these look like. It's, this is called Mystery of the Starry Sky. And the other one was called Snow in the Forest. But like I said, if you need a link, just... um comment and I will leave the link on the uh, items. Oh my gosh, look. These are so, so adorable. Oh, okay guys, my battery died. All right, so we were going through these. I don't know how much of these I've got to see, but these are gorgeous. Okay, all right, let's move on. And then, oh my gosh, here's another one. I fell in, must have fell in love with these when I ordered these. That's all there is to it. All right, let me see if I can find how to get them open. Oh, this one doesn't have a thing on it. Oh. I'm going to put that down. I'll get back to it. Okay. Um, I got a, another stamp. Um, and I'm just going to, well, actually, I think you can see. This is what it looks like. It's a butterfly and flowers. And then it has the writing behind. Really nice. And they're not that big. That's how big they are. That's how I hang my hands. Okay. All right, there's that. And then um, here is, this is a different set. This is called um, flowers in bloom and this is like the other with the purple where all the the sides were scalloped and they have all the little punches out but these are the roses like a cabbage rose and these papers are thinner these make wonderful scrapbooking paper or you're making a card or you want to collage and do your journaling, but I use these to look at and to do artwork. I just think they're beautiful. So there they are. Okay, whoops, that battery. Now let me put this over. Let's go back to this one and see if I can't find the edge on this. Goodness, I don't know where I can't find it. 
Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. Let's see, I have to go get new glasses. That's all there is to it. I'm due for a um, checkup for my eyes and gotta go. <laughs> all right, so this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look. These are so, so nice. And there's those. Okay. And those. Oh, so nice. All right, moving on. Then I got this little set here of different pieces. Um, let's get it out. So in this set, you get all these little tiny ones for your journaling. You've got floral, you've got writing, background, more floral. They're just so cute. Okay, and they're on the thin side, but not too thin. Okay, and then the bigger sheets are here. And I think these are all different. I don't think. Let me see. Now it looks like one, two, maybe two each. Yeah. Yeah, but these are nice too. Okay. So you do get a lot. Oh my goodness, you really get a lot in this set. Okay, there's that. And then there's another set of papers. I believe this one had a hundred. Let's see if I can name it. Cape Harbor Foggy Summer, it's called. And it's got that vellum around it so you can that vellum because you can use that in your journaling but let's just thumb through these and see what these look like oh my yes these are the florals there's always different papers oh, I just can't get over how many and they're all gorgeous so so pretty I like these ones that are a hundred pack in it. It might be like three forty nine. Still nice price and really pretty. Okay, wow, nice. I love that. All right, put that aside. And and then here's the other pack I was telling you about. Um, and I think. Uh, I think I might have re-bought the same one. I'm not 100% until I look at it. Kind of looks familiar, but maybe not. Uh, no, I don't think I did. But these are pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at these. And they're so vibrant. Oh my. Love it. Look at the butterfly. Yeah, these are so, so nice. Whoops. Oh, I love these. There they are. And that's what that one looks like. Let's see, the name was um, Rose Courtyard on that one. Okay, so now um, here is this travel a little travel paper booklet and in here it has got like Grecian um, themed papers that you would see if you go to Greece or you would go to Rome and I love that I like to do a travel or just sit and sketch these these are nice oh I love these very nice. Okay, there's that. Okay, and then the other one 
Let me see what it says. No, it's not telling me like a specific place. And this one looks like this. It says Paris there. Ah, I recognize that. Very nice. Oh, I love these. Oh, I think these are so cute. Okay. All right. Let me see what else we got. Here's a roll of tape. Um, let me see. I don't. I don't think I'm going to take it off the roll. But it is um, the clear, um, like, the stickers. And I, uh, I'm not sure how this comes off of here without taking a hot minute and trying to figure it out. Uh, it says Flower Sea. And they did have different ones to choose from. So this is going to, yeah, I don't know how to get this off here, guys. It's going to be, nope. I'm going to have to fool with that later, but it's just a roll, and then, you know, you just peel them off. And I got hydrangeas, so that's what's on there. Really, really pretty. Okay. All right. Moving on. Here is another pack of the 100. This is called Sweet Dreams. Okay, and this also has the vellum. Get that off of there. Okay, then we'll look at this one. These are the roses. There's a castle. Oh, a little cherub. There's a little girl. Oh, aren't they cute? Yeah, I really like these. These papers never disappoint. They never disappoint. I really, really love those. So nice. Okay. Oh, violin. Pears. And Castle in the Clouds. I go back to that one. I went kind of fast over that. I want to show you guys. A really cute castle in the clouds. Let me see. Let me see here. There it is. Castle in the clouds. Oh, love it. Love, love, love. Okay, here is another one of these secrets of the secret of the garden. Okay. And this opens up like this. And this is papers that are dark on the outside, and they look like they've been burnt. And it's just all garden theme. Flowers. Really pretty. Flowers show up really nice. And that's that one. Okay, and then... Um, I got me one of the little tools, I'll show you here, um, for using in your watercolor blocks to take your paper off of the block. So this is a tool, you slide it in the opening and when you're ready to take the paper off the block, you run it along the side, the gummed, glued side, but that's what that is. I did not have one, and I wasn't sure they had them, but sure enough, there it was, and I got me one. This is nice, too. Nice and sturdy. You can't bend it. This is going to be a good tool. Okay, and then, uh, this is the last pack of paper. All right. So, this one's called Art Poster Series, and... It looks like it's springy. Okay, and here is what's in here. Let me do it this way. 
There's two, and then we go to the different one. And they're just like a, a collage, really pretty papers. Yeah, I really like these. Okay. All right. Some more. That one. And that one. Okay. So, that is my haul from Timu. Or Tamu. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, why not? Please subscribe and that way you hit the bell notification and you won't miss any of my uploads and my videos. I have a lot more to, um, video for you guys. I got another art supply haul. Um, oh, I do have one more item to show you guys before I get off of here. It was the most important one. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I have been um, wanting a marker holder, and I saw one this time. So, I want to take the camera down, and I'm going to show you right here the marker holder. <gasps> Look at this. Of course, it came empty. I believe it holds 120. And right now I have my Ohuhu markers in there. And they fit quite nicely, guys. Oh my gosh. So, like, see, they just come out. Whoops. Come out pretty easy. Um, but I'm in love with it. I even got room to grow. But there's my haul. Okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I got my finger in view there. Um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Like I said, I got lots more videos to film. I have, um, oh, I got a new chair. I want to film me putting it together. I have art haul. I have the ultimate professional drawing set to show you guys. Um, I'm going to be filming that and talking about that. So, um, until next time, guys. I will see you soon, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.